Hey, yo, y'all already know what it is. It's A1. Today, I'm going to bring you guys on a little day in the life in the barbershop. Do have a couple appointments for today, but I have a few openings to take some walk-ins too. And let's take you guys along with us. Got this new barber smock. I got two new ones. I'm going to just open this up. This is the one I'm going to wear today. I lost one. I, I, it's probably in my room, but... I can find it, so I just want another one. I need to do an extra anyway. It's like 20, so. That shit off. It's 55 degrees outside, which isn't cold, but it is Florida people, so. I got my hoodie on, and I'm gonna put my smock on, too. Cause the cold ain't gonna catch me, man. No. <laughs> ain't comfortable. Man, here we go. We in this thing. So we just made it in the shop. We're opening up. Got my boy AJ here with me. Yes, sir. We're going to put my lights on. Get today going. All right, so right here, we got our signing list. They put their name, number, and what barber they want. Pens ready. Got our city cut sign. AJ is going to start sweeping up, mopping. We're going to get the shop ready. I'm going to take these signs out. Put the open sign on. We out here. Let's go ahead and get inside, put the open sign on. It's kind of a cloudy day out today. A little bit cold. We got the open sign going. We're ready to go. Let's clean up the shop. done with another cut as you guys can see stations all messed up so we about to clean it up real quick sweep all this hair up boy aj just got done transformation bro you already know. stay tuned for that sheesh that's gonna be fire bro when you dropping it bro it's gonna be dropped tonight on instagram aj blends you already know go follow me it's gonna be on my reels make sure you go watch it and comment down below what you think sheesh all right now Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it from the man himself. What's up, guys? I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. A little inside look on what it's like as a day in a life in a barbershop. So I'm getting ready to end this video off, but I just wanted to add a couple questions that I've been getting recently, and I'm gonna just answer a couple of them right now at the end of the video. So the first one, we got what is the hardest haircut to give? For me, one of the hardest haircuts I think is that really straight, uh, thick hair um, that has the bulk around and they just want the taper and you have to blend it into that long, thick hair. 
um, on the back and the two sides. And then they like that like straight, thick kind of anchor look like straight across to me. That's a really hard haircut. It's very like tedious like. So uh, there's not really room to mess up because you are definitely gonna see if you mess up type thing. Another person asked, how long did it take me to finish barber school? I got done in six months. I did a restricted barber program, so I only cut men's hair. And I did it part-time, so it took me a little longer, but full-time you can get out in like four months. Another question I got is, why do I wanna be a barber? To be honest, I love fast money. I love the hustle of things. I like being my own boss, creating my own schedule. You know, being able to make content all the time because barbering in the new generation, a lot of it is all about content making. And I like talking to people, making them feel good. So it's just kind of everything, but there's a lot of negatives that come with barbering too. It's not all positives. A lot of people kind of make it seem like it's just this light, you know, money filled road. And it takes a lot to get there. And there's a lot, a lot of stuff that happened that kind of make you like, damn, like, do I want to do this for real? Or like, should I just be putting my time into something else? Needless to say though, I love cutting hair anyways, but there's a lot of negatives just as much as there is positives. Another one is how do I know which guard to use? So once you learn the basic steps of fading and haircuts, you learn your tools and stuff, you kind of get to understand which one you're gonna need next. And in your mind, while you're cutting hair, you build up your own way of cutting and then you kind of just go off of that. So that's a couple questions that I had that I just wanted to take the time out and answer. I don't really think you guys want a full Q&A video. If you think you would watch that, let me know and I'll make one with like all the questions. But I figured just take a couple seconds out of each video to answer some for you guys. Um, it's cool to me and then it's not just one whole video. I don't know, I don't really watch Q&As like that. So just let me know down in the comments. So that I appreciate each and every one of you guys for supporting me through this journey. You guys really see me from barber school into the shop and to every next step that I'm going. I got a lot, a lot of big things coming, a lot of new things coming that I'm really excited for. And stay tuned to see where this A1 journey takes me and takes us really, cause we all in it together. Don't forget, money isn't everything. Stay A1.